Alrighty, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, today we're going to take a look at which monitor looks better. A CRT VJ monitor from about 2004 from Dell. This is the Dell E773C. And then also, I have a other one. I also have this Dell VGA LCD monitor right here from 2004. This is a uh, 1702 FP Dell monitor. It's a beautiful monitor. I've, I did a review on it. I have a link to the description. So we're going to look at gameplay from the Sega Dreamcast, both of these through VGA cables, and see how they both look because, to me, both of them look beautiful. And I've played... Xbox 360 and Sega Dreamcast on both. And so we're going to take a look and just see who or which one is better because they're made by the same company. They're giving the same kind of love. So we're going to just see which one actually just looks better. And is the LCD one a upgrade from the CRT like they claim? All right, let's go take a look, y'all. I already got, the, of course, the CRT hooked up. Let's go back to it. All right, y'all. So I got my camera set up now in front of the CRT monitor. So we're going to take a look at it. You can actually see what I'm seeing due to the video quality. So let's go play a little bit. Just see how nice this gameplay looks. And these are just cheap uh, retro bit cables. I believe they're like $25, $29, something like that. I have a link to the description so you can go get your own VGA cables for your Dreamcast. And they are very high quality. I mean, you can buy some more expensive ones out there, but for the price, these do what you need. Audio sounds great. I got these two, uh, some aftermarket speakers. Oh, shoot. Distracted. trying to tell you about it oh i got the screen set to warm 6500 right now it actually makes it look better than standard or 9300 you know okay the more bluer tone it's a more warm warm color so it helps with capturing the picture Extremely hard videotaping uh, CRT monitors. As you can see, it does play beautifully. I was amazed just how good it looked because I had been playing with S cable and composite for the Sega Dreamcast. But when I did some research and found out that, yeah, you can do VGA natively onto a VGA monitor, I was hooked. I had to get some and try it. And and then I had to look around for a monitor and I found this one for $30 on Facebook market. So I went and drove 20 minutes from my house to get some, <laughs> get them. But yeah, let's try another game real quick. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you one game that pushed the Dreamcast to its limits when it was released on it. So it was Rayman 2. Let's go ahead and start this beautiful game up. Oh, <laughs> 
second okay i had to adjust the brightness at least a little bit for y'all because i can see it on my end but i'm not sure if y'all could Beautiful, this one looks. Look at the textures. So crisp. Amazing. Amazing that Dreamcast was offering this level way back then. Alright, let's go and look at the LCD screen with these games and just see how beautiful it looks actually on those too. It's just amazing. Alright, let's go hook it up. Alrighty, y'all. So I switched it over. And put it on the LCD. This is the Dell 1702 FP um, model. Yeah, that's the model number. Dell monitor, LCD monitor. This one does have more colors, I believe, than the CRT monitor is capable of. And you can see it, it's looking beautiful. It looks just the same. I just paused the game and then switched over the VGA cable and turned this one on. And that's it. I already had it set up with my Xbox, so I was just able to unplug that VGA cable and then insert this one. And so, yeah, the LCD looks really, really good. So let's go to some gameplay and uh, check it out. Let's see. Make sure the camera's doing it justice. Let's adjust it just a little bit. There you go. Okay, that's more than what my eyes look like on the camera and on the monitor. So let's run around and uh, see if we can die. <laughs> I guess you don't want... Oh, that's how you do it. Been a while since I played this game. Played it and went halfway, and that was all I was able to do. I figured since it was a beautiful game, that the first game that I ever had when I got my 
Dreamcast for the first time. I ain't never had a Dreamcast, so when I got it, I had to go and play all the different games that I was able to get. This was one of the first ones. Rayman. It looked so beautiful, I was amazed. I was like, man, I don't see nothing like this on the PlayStation 2. Not this clear. But okay, let's go ahead and switch games. And you can be able to see, just to see how those games look. And I'll make sure the camera's set up better. A little better picture. Alright. Okay, y'all. So, I said that was not a fair comparison. Let me go ahead and do the same intro the same way I did for the CRT monitor and do for the LCD monitor, okay? So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and... Start a new game. It's the only fair way to do it. Alright, so we're gonna go to new game. Same thing. you saw on the CRT. That way you can say whether or not it looks good or not. But as you can see, it looks just as vibrant, just as beautiful. If not, the colors might be even better on this LCD monitor. And I hate to say it because I know there's a lot of hate out there that, hey, you know, you just can't get that, that same beautifulness. But these were guys that were used to work on those CRT monitors, so they knew that, hey, this has to get to that perfectness. And, man, I mean, look at this. This is old 2004 Dell monitor, you know. It's a 1702 FP, like I said. And, God, look at it. Vibrant, same feed, same game, same cables. Dale knew what they were doing, you know. They you run around stupid like I did. look identical it's crazy there's a little difference in the edge it's a little smoother edge on the CRT but as for how beautiful it looks man <laughs> I don't like him talking to me man that infinite grin and just a whispering. Why are you whispering, man? What's such a secret? I like some witchcraft, man. I think he's summoning a monster or something.
Okay, so let's go back to that shooter game. I believe this was a way better. Um, demonstration of just how beautiful the monitor looks. I get into the game and I can't even talk. But okay, let's switch the games real quick and show you that last game. Just so you can show that both of these monitors are just beautiful monitors. They both look beautiful. All right, let's go back to the Mars Matrix game. Now this one does look a little different. It doesn't look as rich, yeah. This one looks a little different. Yeah, you can see the pixelation on this one. But the other game looked better. I'm gonna have to try the third game out now. Maybe it's because this one is more pixelated graphics-wise. Baby, rock on. try another game out it does look good but it's just a look i can tell the difference this one just look more rough on the edge than on the crt monitor so let's try one more game and uh we'll leave it at that Characters look a little more pixelated than they would on the CRT. 
but everything else still looks great. Colors look good. Alrighty, y'all. I hope this shows you that both monitors are equally great. Yes, one has a little smoother edge to it look, but man, it's really nothing to get over mad about anything. Go out there and get both monitors, enjoy them both like I do. Use different systems on them, or just use them for your Dreamcast. But enjoy them, love them, take care of them. They're gonna give you a long life because they've lasted this long so far. I mean, how long are much more longer than you know? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.